Hi everyone. Today we're going to play Skyrim. Woohoo! Let's start. All right, so I'm going to start a new game here. Yeah. New game. Ba-dunk. And I'm kind of blocking the text here, but hopefully I won't block too much during the game. If I do, I'll have to move my camera somewhere. Have you ever played Skyrim before? It's a good game. It's a long game. Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. On the edge of the sky, the rim of the sky, right? A rim, like on your glass, there's a rim where you put your lips. That's the rim, the edge. So we're going somewhere. Hey, you, finally awake. Yep, I'm awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? You walked right into that imperial ambush, same as us, mm. and that thief over there. Damn you Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. If they hadn't been looking for you, you could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. Oh, you he's a horse thief. I shouldn't be here. It's the Stormcloaks the Empire wants. Well, We're you did steal a horse. Now. Or try to steal a horse. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak. The true High King. Ulfric? The Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the Rebellion. We mm. captured you. Oh, gods. Where are they taking us? They're taking us no place good. But Sovereign Guard awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Hey, what village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. He's from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The I'm from Wisconsin. Good. Let's get this over with. Well, it doesn't sound good. I... Mara, Dabella, Kinnereth, Akatosh, the Vines, please help me. Don't think the gods are going to help you now, buddy. Look at him. General Tully is the military governor. And it looks like the Dalmor are with them. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. Hey, I'm an elf. Don't curse the elves. <laughs> this is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. I wonder if Elod is still making that mead with juniper berries when he's mm. Funny. When I was a boy, the imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. But now, not so much, huh? Kill us. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait, we're not rebels. Face your death with some courage. You've got to tell them we weren't with you. This is a mistake. Get towards the block when we call your name. One at a time. Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak, Yarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor. Jarl Ulfric. Mayloff of Riverwood. Okay, there's Mayloff. No Gorn. Of no, I'm not a rebel. You can't do this. You're not a rebel, but you are a horse thief. Kill me. Oh, Anyone and they shot him with an arrow. Wait, you there? Step yes. Forward. Who 
are you? Who am I? Well, um, I always like to play a mage, you know, magic in video games. So, um, these elves are more scouts and thieves and I'm not so interested in that. Um, I think Nords, okay, Nords are better for being warriors. And they're also stealthy and agile, so probably good for being uh, thieves. Though, I mean, they could be anything they want. Uh, Imperials are good with combat and magic. But I like to be a high elf, because they have the ability to regenerate their magic very quickly. And I use only magic in these kinds of games. I don't use a sword and a shield unless I have to. Um, these are dark elves, which are more, um, more of the thieve round, but they have magic skills as well. And, uh, here, this is, um, a Breton, and they have resistance to magic. And it looks like they're also good with magic, so I could choose that. And then we have these reptile race, which uh, resistance to diseases can breathe underwater and they regenerate health very quickly. But I want to be a high elf, so let's choose this race. And uh, they only give you two choices um, cis male, cis female. So unfortunately, I'll have just have to go with cis male because I identify less with cis female, so cis male. And the presets are never good. I really never choose a preset because I don't like them. Um, skin tone, let's see. I think I'll go with this first. They don't get very dark, but maybe that's because it's an, a high elf. So there'd be other, other races that would have darker skin. Um, but I think I want this and I like to be real buff <laughs> though. My head looks a little small compared to my arms. It maybe looks a little funny. Yeah, but anyway, and uh, let's look at my head here. Complexions. I'm mm, going to go with this young looking complexion. I don't need any dirt on my face. Scars. Mm. That scar looks pretty gruesome. Um, let's see. Those scars? Mm, it's pretty small scars. Um, yeah, that looks like they got clawed by some kind of bear or tiger or something. Hmm. Okay. Those are okay. Those scars are okay. Do I want no scars or... I can do these scars. They look kind of cool. And war paint. Hmm, that looks like some heavy metal band. <laughs> I like it. Uh, I think I'll go with the eyes. I kind of like the way those eyes look, but I'm going to change the color to white. I think that looks cool. The red's kind of cool too. But yeah, I definitely like the, the white the best. Do I want... The darker or the lighter? I think that's real subtle. I kind of like that. It's so subtle. Okay, so there's my head, now my face. Um, I kind of really like a big nose. So, let's see. Oh, that's kind of nice. Let's do that one. And move the nose up or down. I 
kind of like a lower, but maybe not that low. Right about there. That looks good. My how long my nose is. It's like Pinocchio, it's growing longer. Um, not too short, I think. A little on the longer side. Yeah. Okay, my jaw width. Uh, right here, my jaw. Um, I actually kind of like the skinnier jaw, I think. Versus a wider jaw. Yeah, you know, let's go on a little on the on the on the skinnier side, on the thinner side. Jaw height. Okay, there it's going down. And here it's going up. Oh, I think down a little. Yeah, that looks nice. Jaw forward. Okay. I think I want it back. Does it change in the front? Not really. It's mostly on the side that it changes. Cheekbone height. So we got our cheekbones here. Let's check those out. We got up and down. I kind of like them a little low, actually. And how wide are they? How big are they? There's wide and narrow. They actually look kind of nice and narrow. Cheek color, I'm not gonna have any color on my cheeks. Laugh lines, no. Uh, no, no color. So we've got lower cheek color. We've got nose color. Yeah, nose color. Chin color. Neck color. And forehead color. Yeah, I don't need any coloring. Though it would be interesting to see him looking all red. Kind of a ruddy red complexion, but yeah, I don't want that. Although I am curious, what does this look like? Hmm. That is very interesting looking, but nope. Just gonna go with no coloring. Yeah, I got that all. No colors. Yep. Okay, so there's my face. Now let's look at the eyes. Eye shape. Mm. I kind of like these here. And those are okay. Now let's go with these. Eye color. They don't give you a whole, there's not very many choices. I prefer black or white. So let's go with white. How high up are my eyes on my face? I'm not too high or low, but on the lower side versus the higher side looks, well, it doesn't look too bad, but let's do that. How far apart are my eyes? These are pretty far apart. And close together. Um, a little on the closer together side. And then how deep? So here they kind of bulge and stick out, and you know, bulge out. And here they're more sunken, going back in my head. Yeah, I like more sunken eyes. Eyeliner color. Can't really see much eyeliner here, but I want a dark one. Eye shadow? No, no shadow. Eye tint? No, we're good. Eyebrows. Let's see, what do we got? I kind of like that one. Mm, those are kind of cool. Mm, those are all right. Those are kind of nice too. So many choices. Or no eyebrows. 
Um, let's go with... Um, actually, let's go with these eyebrows. And we can move them up or down. I'm gonna have them down, low. And how wide apart? I actually kind of like them further apart, so we'll do that. And how far forward do they stick out? Mm, I can't really see that adjustment much. Oh, there we go. So it moves a little bit right here. Let's take it back. Okay. Alright, mouth. I definitely like big lips. So we're gonna find some big lips here. So those are kind of big. Those are big. Those are, oh, those are really nice. Hmm. Yeah, I like guys with big lips. Probably, yeah, this is what I want here. So how high or low are his ma lips going to be? Let's see here. Low. Hmm, I actually kind of like him low. Middle, let's put him way up high. Yeah, it just takes a few minutes, or a few moments. You have to wait and let it kind of sink in before you decide. Yeah, I like them a little on the lower side. Okay, let's move the mouth forward and back. Forward. And back. I like it back, for sure. Chin width. So we're going to look right here. We got wide and narrow. Oh, that's really narrow. That goes whew. wide. Yeah, I definitely like wide better. Mm -hmm. Chin length. So how long does it go up and down? Let's start here. Wow, we can move it way down. <laughs> yeah, I want it short. And how far forward is the chin? We've got an underbite and an overbite. I don't mind a little bit of an overbite. Lip color. So no color, dark. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with no lip color. Okay, hair. So this hair is okay. Um. Oh, yeah, I kind of like this half pony look. That's nice. Really shows off my cheekbones, my bone structure, my ears. Yeah, the other ones are okay, but I'm going to go with half pony. Here, half pony. Yep. And facial hair. Some five o'clock shadow stubble. Kind of a, yeah, just all around stubble. I usually myself end up with this. Little trimmed stubble. Thicker in this area. Okay. They all kind of look good on him, on me, him. Okay, so an underbeard, kind of neck. Here. Oh my. Yeah, nope. Okay, so we just got um hair on the chin. Oh, there's a just a little bit on the chin. I kinda like that. Soul patch is okay. Mustache and soul patch. A goatee. Mustache. What are those called? Handlebar mustache or something, I think. Yeah. Um, just on the jowls, on the cheeks here. 
And then we got beards. Which I... I definitely don't want a beard. But I'm looking them all. Yep, we're gonna go with this little bit on the chin that I liked. Right there, yeah, that's nice. And I always like to have red hair, so... Oops. I lost it. There we go. Hair color. Kind of a frosty blonde. Blonde. Oh yeah, there's my red. Probably gonna go with that auburn. Black. Oh, the silver's kinda nice. But yeah, I want auburn. This dark red. That's nice. Okay. Finished. Alright. So, done. Yep. And I always name my characters and games. Or not always, but often. Zerzinth. So, there's me, Zerzinth. You are not with the fam or embassy, are you, nope. Hayev? I'm not. No. That can't be right. Captain, what should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. By your oh. orders, Captain. Not to the block. I'm sorry. We'll make sure you have a main to return to the Somerset Isle. Follow the captain, prisoner. Oh, Frick Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp mm. his throne. So he has a. Uh... Some you kind of magical powers. Plunge Skyrim into chaos. And now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. Oh, what's that noise? What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the eight divines upon For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over. Learn. Oh my. As you wish. Guess he's eager to die. Come on. I haven't got all morning. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. And you say the same. Alright, if you don't want to see this, then don't look. <laughs> Alright, and now we're headless. As fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the high elf. Me? Oh, what is there that? it is again. Did you hear that? I'm next. I said next prisoner. To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. <sighs> He's still down there. This dead body is still there. <laughs> His body is still there, and I'm just laying on top of it. Oh, what in there's a dragon. Sentries. What do you see? It's in the oh, good timing, dragon. Thank you. She just saved my life. Oh. It's raining down from the sky. That's mm, dangerous. Okay, let's go this way. Come on. Come on. Move out of my way. I'm right here. Oh, well, that doesn't look good. I don't think she's going to make it. Yeah, neither one of them, but I think they're going to make it. They don't look so good. We're going up. All right, let's go up. Oh, oh, that guy is dead. Oh, oh, there's fire. Oh. I'm burning. Oh, sorry, buddy. Oh, poor guy. What? Oh, we got to jump across. All right, here we go. 
Ooh, that hurt a little. Okay, let's go down here. Alright, now I'm going after this guy here. Hi. Take care of the boy. I have to find General Tolius and join the defense. God's right. guide you head Let's go. Let's go. Dragon slime. Okay. Oh. Just right there. Run! Dragon is uh, wreaking havoc on this little village here. Alright. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Where are we going? Oh, hey. What's his name? Raloff? Okay, so I need to go to the keep with Hadvar or Roloff. Oh, I can choose? I've... Hmm. I don't know what to choose. I usually go this way, but... Uh, let's go this way. With my buddy. We'll meet again in Solid. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. That thing was a dragon, no doubt. Just like the children's stories and the legends. The harbingers of the end times. Oh no. We better get moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. Yes, please. Take my bindings off. There you go. Thank you. May as well take on your gear. He won't be needing it anymore. Alright. I'm um, not going to take an axe because I like to use magic, so... Sorry, buddy. No clothes for you. Put on the fur boots, fur boots and the cuirass. I don't need this tunic anymore, so we'll just throw it, and I don't need my foot wraps. All right. Get that armor on, and give that axe a few swings. I, I don't need the axe. I'm going to use... I'm going to use my ah, magic. So, let's see. We've got destruction here. Turn on my flames. And turn on my healing. And this is automatic. It just regenerates my magic faster. My magicka. It's called in this game, magicka. And I'm born with 50 extra magicka points. That's helpful. Um, oh, this will make other other creatures and people attack for me. But I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to use healing and... Oh, I can turn this on? Oh, I have to turn this on. Okay, let's turn that on. Let's see about that gate. This gate here? Oh, no, it's locked. No way this to gate. From our side. Hmm, it's locked. Shoot. Oh, there are people. Take cover. Two people. Yeah, yeah, we're escape printers and ours. I'm gonna kill you. Sorry. Here we go. Bye. Alright, so I took care of those two. And they, oh, here's the key. I need this key. I don't want their armor, it's, it's too heavy. Um, but I do wish they had some money. Let's open this door. Come, Come over on. here. Let's get out of here before the dragon brings the whole tower down on our heads. Yeah, let's look in this sack here. Tomatoes? Sure, why not? I can eat those. Uh, yeah. Don't want the dragon to bring the whole tower down on our head. Don't need a kettle. 
Um, I can't block because I don't have a shield, so that's not good. Can't go that way. I have to go this way. Damn, that dragon doesn't give up easy. Grab everything important and let's move. Oh, dragon's burning everything here. to the Hi. Hi. And you guys are. Sorry, buddies, but if you're trying to kill me, I'm going to kill you first. So that was a healing potion I just took, and here's a magicka potion. And what else we got here? Horn, bowls, candles. I don't want any of that stuff. Nothing over here. Yeah. Oh, I can look in this barrel here for stuff. Ah, we've got three minor healing potions through a minor magicka potion and a minor stamina potion. I'm gonna take all those. What's up here? Baskets, yeah, don't need those. Okay, uh, let's take that healing potion. Done, let's get moving. Yeah, I guess I'm done. Chaos going on down here. Who's this? Stormcloak Soldier. I'm not gonna. I think those. They're on my side, so. Just kill this torturer people. Yeah, Stormcloaks, I guess, are on my side now. I. banded up with them. Just cause, uh. What's his name? Looks like there's something in this cage. Ah, it's locked. See if you can Rub get off. it open with some picks. We might need that gold once we get out. All right, I will Grab open this. Useful and let's go. So Raloff is a storm clock, storm cloak soldier. So because we were <laughs> buddies, almost gonna die together. Now we're buddies, free, just friends, I guess. There we go. We picked that lock real beautifully. All right, let's take all this gold. Take that. Oh, I can learn sparks. So sparks is um is like uh, lightning. So books, sparks. Yeah, now I can shoot sparks. Check this out. Destruction sparks. Um, but the sparks cost more magicka, so I don't know if I'll use sparks or fire. Sparks are kind of cool. All right, I'm gonna take his robes because I use magic, and these robes help me regenerate. So 50% faster regeneration, and I get 30 more points of magicka. And he's got a potion and gold. Sorry, buddy. So I'm going to take everything that he's got and I'm going to put it on. So items, apparel, hood. Yep, I don't need this anymore. So I'll throw it away. And I'll keep these boots. Got some potions, some food, the key, and lockpicks. We're good to go. Let's look over here. Mm, anything? No, I don't want a mace because I don't use weapons. I just use my magic. It's the only weapon I need. Oh, here's a lockpick. Need that. History of the Empire. Volume 1. Okay. I don't actually know if I get any credit for reading books. I think I do. So I just... I'm kind of a sucker for achievements and things, so I'll just read it even though I don't actually read it. Is there is there something for reading? Uh, let's see. General stats. Oh, okay. 
Books read. Ah, yep. Books read. So that shows that I read three books. Now I have to remember to. I'll have to remember to check this next time to see if it's just literally opening the book counts as reading it, or if I have to go all the way to the end. Although that one book I did just open, I didn't actually go to the end, so it must be just opening the book. But I'll check later. Um, let's pick this lock too. There we go. But there's nothing in there. But we still got lock picking skill increase doing that. Right? So down below it says lock picking. I'm at level 15. So with every lock that I pick, that skill goes up. Um, mm -hmm. Let's pick this lock too. Yep, so I just have a little bit more to go until I have uh, lock picking skill 16. So. Oh yeah, see? I just increased my level to 16 on lock picking. Good. The skill definitely comes in handy. Being able to, oh, there's a coin purse. I'll take that. And just bones, bone meal. Okay. Let's look here. Ah, there's some gold. I'll take that. For sure. And let's check this guy. Nope. Nothing. Come on, um, hurry up. Okay, let's check the skeleton. We got some gold. Good. I need money, money, money. Better to stick together down here. Yeah, let's go. Orders are to wait until General Tullius arrives. I'm not waiting to be killed by a dragon. We need to pull back. Just give the general some time. All right, so we've got um, some people to fight here. Don't want to kill my own people. Just the Imperial soldiers. There we go. Oh, my buddy got killed. Is low. Oh shoot. Oh my friend oh. oh they're shooting me with arrows over there. Oh they killed my friend. Shoot. I wasn't fast enough. Sorry buddies. Oh anybody nobody's left behind either. Well, nothing I can do about that. Let's shoot him down. Let's down and hit him. Oh, my destruction level went up too. Okay, I'm running out of magicka here. So let's take a potion. Potions. Some magicka. And right in the head. There we go. That's no money. Dang, I wanted to help these guys get out of here, and they died. Let's see where this goes. Let's pull this lever here. All right, over the bridge. Oh, that's not good. Tremors from that dragon. What's down here? Ah, we've got a coin purse, and we've got minor healing potion. Yeah, skeleton's got nothing. Here we go. There's the 
There's another coin purse. Don't mind if I do. Need all the money I can get. Money, money, money. Oh dear. We've got some spiders. And I think for spiders I should probably use fire. So let's switch over to flames. And burn the spiders. Oh, my stamina is low. Fire costs a lot less magicka. Adds up real fast. How much magicka does... So, flames is 12 and... The, oh, 16. That's a difference of 4 between those two. And they both do 8 points of damage, but... Sparks also affects their magicka. So, this would be good against other mages. Alright, we'll keep the fire on for a while. Let's do some healing. There we go. All healed up. Anything up here? Doesn't look like it. Nope. Uh, anything in these? Just a rat tail. Yeah. Rat tails. Don't need those. Do not need the rat tails. Ooh, nice little waterfall. Okay. Oh, there's a bear over there. So I can sneak. And let's shoot it. Hi. Oh, poor bear. Mm, bear claws and pelt. I don't need any of those. Enjoy my health a little bit. And let's look up here. Can I get up here? Nope. Can't really get up there, so there's probably nothing up there. And let's keep going. Oh, what was that? Oh, maybe it was like a booby trap or something. Oh, I can hear that dragon outside. Mm, yeah, can't get up there. Okay, that's the wrong way. Go this way. Oh yes, it is the way out. Woohoo! We found the exit to Skyrim. Yay! Wait. Okay, so survival mode means that I have to eat, sleep, and stay warm, and I also can't travel. I have less ability to carry things, I've reduced carry weight, and I only level up when I sleep. Yeah, I'm not going to do survival mode. So pretty. Oh. Did you hear it? Oh, there there's the goes. dragon. Looks like he's gone for good this time. No way to know if anyone else made it out alive. But this place is going to be swarming with Imperials soon enough. Better clear out of here. All right. My sister, Gerda, runs the mill in Riverwood just up the road. Sure, she'd help you out. It's okay. probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. I wouldn't have made it without your help either, so thank you very much. So he said to go visit his sister in uh, in a town nearby. I forgot the name. Is it River Run? No, I don't remember. Let's see, what's the name of the town quests? Oh yeah, River Wood. You know, okay. you should go to Windhelm and join the fight to free Skyrim. You've seen the true face of the Empire here today. If anyone will know what the coming of the dragon means, it's Oak. Hmm. Okay, so he recommends I join the Stormcloak Rebellion against the Imperials. Um, I'm guessing the Imperials are 
kind of the controlling force or trying to control the area. Okay, so there's Riverwood. There's Falkreath. And Helgen is where I was. Like there. Oh, there's a butterfly. Hello, butterfly. So we're going to go to River Run. Or River Wood. <laughs> River Run is Lord of the Rings. This is not Lord of the Rings. Here we go. Why are you standing there? Fight or die well. Hmm. Um, Better keep moving. Can talk to you I later. Don't want to run into any Imperials who know what happened at Helm. See that ruin up there? A ruin? Never understood how my sister could stand living in the shadow of that place. I guess you get used to it. Okay, so I said there's some kind of ruin here. Maybe it's that ruin up there that he's talking about? I'm not sure. Ooh, flowers. Let's pick those. This will. Okay, so here are the three guardian stones. These are the guardian stones. Three of the 13 ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Go ahead. See for yourself. So this one allows me to activate the thief stone if I want to be like a thief or a rogue, stealthy. And this one allows me to activate the warrior stone if I want to fight with sword and shield or axe and weapons. And this one is the one I'm going to activate and this is the mage stone. When I activate... Oops. When I activate the Mage Stone, I'm going to be able to learn all my magic skills 20% faster. And I want mage, that. So. Eh? Well, it's not for me to judge. Mm, pretty. So, I've been blessed by the Mage. Which means that all of my magic skills will upgrade 20% faster. Though so that would be alchemy, illusion, conjuration, destruction, restoration, alteration, and enchanting. Enchanting is a mix between uh, the mage and the warrior. And then... Speech. Yeah, I'm not sure about alchemy, but speech. Well, yeah, speech and alchemy. That's where we start to blend the thief and uh, the mage together. Probably less... Well, a mage needs to be good with their speech, but... Anyway. So those are my skills. And let's make our way to River Run and we'll pause there for today. You coming? You're coming. I thought we were going to split up. You're still following me. Uh, I want to take this thistle and the mountain flowers and use these to make Remember, potions and things. If we're ahead of the news from Helgen, we should be fine. You don't do anything periods. stupid. Just let me do the talk. Right. Mm. Mountain flowers. So pretty, right? Oh, what's this? We've got a wolf. Wolves. Not good. Okay. Bye bye, wolves. Need to regenerate my health a little bit. There we go. Wolf pelt. Wolf pelt. Don't need a wolf pelt. Oh, mushrooms. I'll take those.
All right, I think we're getting close. Here's some more mountain flowers. I'm glad you decided to come with me. We're almost to Riverwood. Some more thistle. Mountain flowers. Mountain flowers. And lots of flowers in the mountains here. Oh, there's some more. All right, here we are at River Run. A little village. A river wood. I keep saying River Run. What? What is it now, Mother? It was as big as a mountain and black as night. Nobody here knows what happened. Come on. Gerd was probably working in her lumber mill. If you keep on like this, everyone in town will feel crazy. And I've got better things to do than this. Okay, so his friend works here at a lumber mill, I guess. That's Hod, or Hod. That's not Gurdu. Ah, there. Gerder. Brother, Mara's mercy, it's good to see you. But is it safe for you to be here? Gerder. We heard that Ulfric had been captured. Gerder, I'm fine. At least now I am. Are you hurt? What's happened? And who's this? <laughs> One of your comrades? Mm. Not the comrade yet. Friend. I owe him my life. Yeah? Is there somewhere we can talk? There's a town where he must be held in. He must be curious. Okay, so he wants to talk about what happened. Um, in a private place. Oh, but first she wants help. just come here. Raylon, what are you doing here? I'll be right down. All right, so I'll talk to them later. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna stop here for today. So let's go and quit. Quit desktop. Oh no, I want to save first. So let's go to save, new save, perfect. And then we'll quit, yes. All right, so if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to click the subscribe button below, ring the bell to get notifications when I upload the next video, and join our Patreon page. The link is in the description below. All right. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time for part two of Skyrim. Bye.